Today's adventure takes us to the newly opened Sugar Factory in Jacksonville, Florida. We are gonna try some of their most popular dishes, drinks, and of course, desserts. We're the Huffman family, and we believe that an ordinary life is truly extraordinary. Whether you're staying close to home or traveling the world, there's an extraordinary adventure around every corner. Let's get our sweet tooth on. But if you're not familiarized with the Sugar Factory, here's a little background on it. It first originated as a small confectionery store in 2009 at the Mirage Hotel. And then they expanded to a second location that had an attached cafe on it. Celebrity endorsed couture pops, which have turned sweets into the latest designer accessory. And of course, they also have celebrity alcohol brands that are now very, very popular with a lot of their drinks. So the tree right in the center actually reminds me a lot of our H. What would, what would you say, honey? What's it? Yeah. This tree in the center kind of reminds me a lot of our H, kind of like those vibes. Yeah. Um, if you haven't seen our R H uh, rooftop lounge. Uh, we'll link that below. So Wyatt, what'd you say it looked like? Wyatt. What'd you say it looked like? It's very, very, very fancy with It looks very, very fancy to you, huh? And it's very so artsy. All these lounging chairs. Lounging chairs? They kind of feel like it. They're kind of more like a bucket. Yeah. Drink selection is extensive. Um, pretty much everything. These are their, what, what do they call these? Goblets? Is that what yeah, they call Yeah, these it? goblets. Yeah. So... If you get it with alcohol, it's 39. If you get it without alcohol, it's 29. So Bella was looking at this here. It's called a Lucky Charm Blue Latte. So it does have coffee in it. Huh? With Lucky Charms. Huh? Show, off that, show off that toothless grin. <laughs> the, people. the People's Watermelon. Cadillac Margarita. Watermelon Cadillac Margarita. So their their drinks are kind of tongue twisters here. So they put what is it? Um, dry like ice. Dry ice at the yeah, bottom. A little bit of dry ice that, in the bottom. That smoke. The kids love the gummies, but it has alcohol in it, no. so we can't give it to them. But they're gonna get the a shake here soon. Hmm. It's not bad. Like, I mean, you gotta like mix it up to, and uh, cause like you get to the bottom of that. I mean, there's straight strawberries. Alcohol. No, it's not alcohol. It's straight up like sugar. Oh. No alcohol? Like, it's very sweet. It has just the slightest after. Get out. It has just the slightest after kind of taste of the alcohol. Um, but it, it's not like that sickly syrup in a lot of drinks that you don't like, so. It's not bad. As a bartender, as a bartender, it tastes very simple. I would, I don't know, I guess I was expecting more flavor from it. I think I would have preferred more alcohol. Yeah, because you don't really taste the alcohol. Yeah. yeah. It's in there. Yeah. Yeah, man. Oh, our appetizers just got here. You can just sit there. All right. right. Yeah. Thank All right. you. Thank you. All right. So. so Wait, I'll get back to you because the kids are dying to get into this sample platter. We have the crispy chicken, the fried macaroni, onion rings, and buffalo chicken wings yeah. here with a few dipping sauces. Yeah. It's very cheesy. Is it? Very, very nice. I guess it's kind of between like a spaghetti and macaroni for me, just because of that marinara and the Parmesan on top. Like maybe that's so, what I'm getting. 
with the the breadcrumbs that it has on it. It's like a almost like cheese stick, like almost like a cheese well, stick. It's deep fried. Yeah, consistency on the inside though. What would you rate it? I'll do eight out of ten. Quiet. What do you think of it? <laughs> <laughs> I say this is very complicated with a fork. With a fork, you think it's very complicated. <laughs> no, yes, but though, are you talking about how it tastes? Yes, I'm talking about how it tastes. Okay, it tastes really good. What do you think of the macaroni, though? You're the macaroni expert. No? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're not much of a red sauce kind of girl, are you? You like the, you like the green pesto sauce. Yeah. Mm. It's hard to go wrong with buffalo sauce in general. If you can't get that right, you're not going to succeed. So, I mean... It's good bubble sauce. I would say for a sample powder, a lot of places you go to, Chili's that might have a sample platter. Even I think um, Cheesecake Factory has a sample platter. It's not that great. Yeah. It really isn't. Um, the quality tends to be quite poor, actually. Uh, here's the defining moment, actually, is chicken. I'm not a fan of platter chicken tenders. Oh my goodness. <laughs> for sparklers because I do know that was it Rainforest Cafe they used to have that they have the volcano right well they don't do the sparklers no more at Rainforest Cafe I was gonna say about the chicken tenders that um, usually I like I'm not a fan they're they're dry over breaded somehow I, I, I that's why I tend not to get sample platters because the chicken tenders just are great I have to say, they're not over the dry. I mean, they're not. Are they just chicken tenders again to me? Yeah, they're just chicken tenders again to me. Everything else was great, though. I really liked everything else. Get the caters. You got kids in your group. Heck, they'll love them. This is their stir fries, their steak, garlic steak, steak stir, stir fry. fry. Yeah. And they had a firecracker shrimp one that looked really good, but this is the one we kind of like both agreed on getting. It has fried rice, bell pep, uh, uh, white rice, bell peppers, uh, garlic, kind of sesame sauce, and it's topped with all of these wontons. So if you love crispy wontons, um, this is for you. It does have a real, like, you really better like garlic. I'll say that. <laughs> yeah, you inhale that garlic when you take you better, it. Off. You better like garlic. You've worn off those, uh, worn off those vampires. Yeah. With this. But yeah, I'm saying, like, it's very garlicky. It does have a little bit of acidity to it. Um... So I'm not really sure where that acidity is coming from. Like, now it's the same kind of dressing I know that they have on the marinade that they have in the the shrimp one, but the shrimp is spicy. So I'm kind of curious to see if that spice from the shrimp kind of helps cuts. even this out because yeah. this does taste kind of very acidic. It is. It's very. It's very on the acidic side. Yeah. I was making a joke about these mirrors on the ceiling that if you don't know what to eat, you could just look around up at the ceiling, see what everybody else is eating, and be like, hey, that person way over there, that looks good. I'll eat that. <laughs> oh. Ooh, yummy. Look at that, you guys. Oh. Thank you so much. Thank you. Wow. 
Okay, we got we got to do the the beauty spin here. Look at this. We got cupcake. We got some colorful chocolate bark here. We got whipped cream. We've got Oreos crushed around the outside. We have an Oreo shake on the inside. So this was called the Oreo madness. Madness. So what do you think? Um, this, so we got the Oreo Madness. The Oreo Madness. What do you think of it? Really, really good. Like it, it is a, it is a phenomenal shake. Like all of the other stuff aside, like that's a twelve or thirteen dollar shake, without a doubt. Well, how much is it? Like nineteen? It's nineteen it's in total. 19. Like, so I like the fact there's not a lot of ice crystals within the shake. Um, like a lot of shakes and places do have. It's very smooth. It's not overly thick, so you can't like a lot of straws. Even the big straws with a lot of shakes, you can't like slurp yeah. it up. You're like, <sighs> no, that's... <laughs> so that's like, that's the perfect kind of texture, I guess yeah. you could say. Yeah. Yeah. I would have to say for a $19 shake, though, I am disappointed in the size. I mean... I mean, with everything it came with, though, I mean, I guess, really. I guess you're right as far as, like, the stuff that came in it, but I don't know. For some reason, I thought it'd be a little there. All right. I apologize for the abrupt cutoff there, but, man, this evening just really wasn't our kind of dining out experience that we usually have. My daughter spilt her water earlier on, and after we got that cleaned up, and then we had our dessert, my husband actually spilt his water. So I was like, oh my goodness, everybody needs sippy cups tonight, I think. But I hope I provided you enough information for if you come to this restaurant. I don't think it's really anything spectacular to go to for a date night because it's extremely overly priced for what you get. But for a birthday celebration or any kind of celebration that you just want to enhance, I mean, who wouldn't want a big shake topped with cupcakes, right? I think any kid especially would love to be surprised here for their birthday. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. And we do tons of food reviews and adventures on this channel. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you know when we release a new video. And as always, you guys, remember that an ordinary life is truly extraordinary.